Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, respected viewers of Al-Islam. Welcome back once again. So I have in front of me here uh, Fatuh al-Bari, the greatest commentary of Sahih al-Bukhari. And I have opened Kitab al-Tahajjud in front of me. So the volume I have here is uh, Al-Juz al-Thalith and the volume is of volume number 3 and page number 37 and 38. Now here um, it's quite interesting. Uh, under the hadith, like I previously mentioned um, from Abdul Rahman Al Mubarak Puri, the Ahlul Hadith Alim, um, who the Salafis revere as a, a hadith expert, who wrote a commentary on the Jami' and the Sunan of Al Imam At Tirmidhi, uh, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. And um, I mentioned that, you know, he mentioned some kalam under the hadith of. Um, ينزل ربنا تبارك وتعالى how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, is said to descend every night and this hadith is a hadith that the Ahlul Sunnah accept and they say that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means by this and whatever Allah intended Alhamdulillah we believe in what they don't do is start dwelling or say this is literally uh, uh, descending and because descension means to come from a higher place down to a lower place and obviously Allah is free uh, from this type of tahayyus and coming into Makan and coming into places and settling and these locations and this physical body you know that is attributed to Allah by the anthropomorphists this is something which the Ahlul Sunnah have always refuted now I have in front of me um, the hadith the same hadith ينزل ربنا تبارك وتعالى كل ليلة إلى السماء الدنيا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every night okay, descends uh, to the lowest heaven حين يبقى ثلث الليل الآخر when the uh, uh, last third of the night remains and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then calls out is there anyone to call upon me so I may accept uh, his dua is there anyone to ask me so I may give him is there anyone to seek forgiveness so I may uh, forgive him or her now Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Asqalani rahimahullah mentions some very very important kalam here he says istadalla bihi man athbat al jihata he says that this hadith is used as a proof by those people who um, ascribe directions to Allah because Allah is free from direction okay so Hafiz ibn Hajar is on the same belief as uh, Al-Imam Al-Tahawi rahimahullah who said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free ta'ala anil hududi wal ghayat I'm not even going to repeat that in the scan because Mawlana Abdul Halim's brought that many times and the scan has been presented in previous videos that Allah is free and transcendent and pure from hudud and limits and uh, boundaries and Allah is free from um, jihad al, you know la tahwih al jihad situ that the six directions so above beneath right left in front of you behind you they cannot contain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is free from them okay so the people who ascribe directions to Allah take evidence Hafiz ibn Hajar says from this hadith of Allah descending in the last third of the night to the first heaven and then he says وَقَالَ هِيَ جِهَةُ الْعُلُوْ this is the direction the of ulu the um, direction upper direction okay وَأَنْكَرَ ذَلِكَ الْجُمْهُورُ and then he says as for jumhur the vast majority of the experts of this ummah they reject this meaning of uh, ascribing um, jihad and direction to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لِأَنَّ الْقَوْلَ بِذَلِكَ because having this holding this opinion okay and accepting this يُفْضِي إِلَى التَّحَيُّزِي تَعَالَ اللَّهُ عَنْ ذَلِكَ because then this leaves in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala settling okay and being contained and dwelling in a makan and space and Allah is free and transcendent from this and then he says وَقَدْ اِخْتُلِفَ فِي مَعْنَ النُّزُولِ عَلَىٰ أَقْوَالٍ and then he brings exactly the same text which I presented from Abdul Rahman Mubarak Puri. So Abdul Rahman Mubarak Puri in the Sharh of um, Imam Tirmidhi Rahimahullah Sunan, he actually took his kalam from here. I don't know if he mentioned Hafiz there, 
but as far as I know, he didn't. So that is not correct. When you take something from somewhere, you have to quote where you get it from. Okay, if someone forgets, it's a different thing. But we should generally make this a practice to, to mention where we get it from because this is the barakah and the blessing of ilm. Now, he said that there and the Salafis were very, very, they went into a frenzy after we mentioned that because he says, as for the meaning of nuzul, okay, this has been differed upon. Some have taken it on its outward, apparent, and literal meaning, meaning the Salafis of today. وَهُمُ الْمُشَبِّهَةُ And these are the people who are the Mushabbiha because they do tashbih, they liken Allah with his creation. So Hafiz ibn Hajar and the Salafi senior, Abdul Rahman Mubarak Puri, are calling today's Salafis aqidah of taking literal and outward meaning, tashbih, and they are saying these are, the, these are the Mushabbiha sect. And if you call a Salafi that you are from the Mushabbiha sect, he will never be happy. So this is something which even the Salafis agree that the Mushabbiha sect are deviated. But what they don't understand is what they are doing also makes them from this sect. Okay. And ta'ala Allahu an qawlihim. And then there are some women whom man ajrahu ala ma warada mu'minan bihi ala tariq al-ijmal munazzihan Allah ta'ala an al-kayfiyyati wa tashbihi wa hum jumhur al-salaf. And then there are those who just let the, the, the you know, the, the, these textual evidences flow, they recite them and uh, they say we believe in them. Um, vaguely we just recite them what we don't do is start to go into the meanings and we say Allah is pure from kaifia modality form and tashbih and you know being likened with his creation and these are the jumhur of the salaf so Hafiz ibn Hajar is saying that the vast majority of the salaf did this they did not um, dwell and delve okay into the meanings they just consigned the meanings to Allah and moved on and say, we believe whatever Allah intended it to mean. Now, the objective of this reference and the scan we inshallah will be put on the screen is to show two things. Number one, Allah is free from directions. Salafis believe Allah has the direction of being uh, above. Number one, Hafiz ibn Hajar refutes this. Number two, he says this is the view of the Jumhur of the Salaf making Allah directionless. And Salafis say, now if you look in the footnotes here, and what is interesting here is uh, Bin Baz wrote the footnotes of the copy I have. And here, once again, it's almost like a rant. You know, he's saying, Hafiz ibn Hajar quotes the Jumhur, but in actual fact, this is not the Jumhur of the Salaf. This is the Jumhur of Ahlul Kalam. So basically, the scholars, the philo philosophers had this. Whereas Hafiz ibn Hajar is telling the truth. It is the Jumhur of this Ummah, the Salaf of this Ummah had this belief that Allah is free from actual, literal direction of being above, beneath, on the side, etc. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from settling in a space. And then he says the Salafi Aqeedah of today, okay, what we, what we know as the Salafi Aqeedah of today, this is the Aqeedah of the Mushabbiha, the people who liken Allah with his creation. So this now needs to be understood. We implore you, we beg you to please, you know, uh, consider this. And we, we actually ask our Salafi youngsters to rethink and revisit your belief. Contact your scholars, show them the scans and seek answers. Don't blind follow. This is taqlid which is blind following. And you can't make taqlid in aqidah in this way where you blind follow. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us from the fitna of the Salafi uh, uh, scholars and the disruption they have caused to this ummah wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil